Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, September 20th, I believe. Hold on. Yes, September 20th. It's uh, a little cold and wintry outside. Not really wintry, but it's very, uh, very cold compared to the uh, heat that we had in early September, August, uh, where it was quite warm. And yeah, so fall is here. It's definitely here. So let's do a final walkthrough of the garden, take a look at some of the things that are going on, and then let you know what's, uh, I guess, gonna happen next. So let's go do that now. All right, you gotta forgive any wind noise that you guys pick up uh, today. Uh, it was a little windy as well as cool, but uh, let's start back in the wild garden or the nature garden. Fern, uh, this is the ostrich fern, still hanging in there. Lily Valley is uh, doing its end of the year fade back. Lungwort still hanging in there. That's the lungwort. This Japanese fern is, uh, well, it's seen better days and it's tired. It's been a long summer. It's still be have all gone uh, dormant and the bed is overgrown. Back here, amongst all of the Lily of the Valley, My Empress Wu Hasta. Uh, bigger this year than it was last year. So that's good. If we dart over here, we can catch the wild and elusive Steve. Yes, I have a dog named Steve. Say hello, Steve. Steve, say hello. You don't even care, do you? It's all right, Steve. I'll see you later. Finally got rid of that one pile of leaves that I had on the ground, but... Uh, Sort of left the garden, uh, the grass, uh, well, dead, which is okay because then it could be re-leveled and reseeded for next year. Oak leaf hydrania, massive. All the flowers are gone, obviously. It is the end of the year. The Annabelle uh, hydrania, still looking good. Well, probably another uh, week or two, and then everything will fall off or brown. The twigs here. They'll be getting cleaned up soon. There's a uh, garbage cleanup uh, that my town does, or yard waste cleanup, I should say, that my town does. That'll be uh, getting done, taken care of soon. And the uh, compost bins, they all have to be uh, turned. Many of the um, potted plants here, basils, uh, parsley, tomato. I'm gonna clean them all out today. They're uh, looking a little worse for wear. This tomato plant has definitely had it. And this tomato plant, yeah, that's had it too. But if we look over here, the Montauk Daisy is getting ready to bloom, which would be nice because I have a large, several large plants. So that'll be nice. This hydrangea, no idea what it is, but uh, it's done. It's getting a little flat due to all the uh, flowers that it had. So I'm sure all of you have seen this before. Nothing new there, but uh, still looks kind of nice with the uh, faded colors there. Uh, this is a uh, aster, I believe. What variety, I do not remember, but believe it's getting rid of flower probably another week or two and it is uh, large and floppy I still have some I believe these are I can't remember zinnias I think those are zinnias and they're still doing some sort of flowering although I expect them to probably fade away soon my white uh, flower rosebush here which I cannot remember the name of still growing doing well and I do have some flowers so I may get them for another week or two. And there's a sleepy bee. Uh, very tired, been working very hard. Peonies, which flowered in the spring, are definitely showing signs of uh, age and wear. So they'll be cutting, getting cut back in the next uh, couple of weeks, probably. Maybe three or four. And this other aster has gotten massive, ready to start blooming very shortly. Again, probably the next couple of weeks. Purple Aster has finally uh, blossomed. 
I want to say this is a New York Aster, I think. Don't quote me on that. I'm terrible with plants, and if you've been watching this channel for a while, you probably know that. Lime blush zinnia. Again, looking very tired. It still has some blossoms on it. I believe these are snapdragons, and they're still hanging in there. Sleepy bees on the uh, hummingbird mint. And if I pull out, I don't know if you could see this, but there's uh, still uh, probably about a dozen bees all over the hummingbird mint. Looking for that last bit of pollen. Down here, uh, another uh, aster. Its flower is still fresh, so a lot of the bees have migrated to this one. Though most of the nicotine has given up, some of it is reflowering. And a few, about a couple of months ago, I'd cut back the gara, and the gara has now reblossomed, reflowered. The dogwood is now burying up and the leaves are starting to change. And in probably about a month, the leaves will all be red on this tree and falling off. I planted on this trellis with clementis. I planted a moonflower. That's what all the big leaves are. And you're supposed to get these giant white flowers. Well, what I have is, let's see if this will focus, a lot of buds, but no flowers. Maybe soon. Again, if you're getting a lot of wind noise, I apologize. Row of Coreopsis, yellow, not doing much. Hanging in there, looking good. And at the end, the white salvia. On the other side of the garden path, we have some more snapdragons. And a tattered and worn and tired sunflower here. Surprise foxglove. Peacock orchid. Back over here, my Mr. Lincoln Rose has rebloomed. This was looking ratty and tatty early in the year, had a bug infestation, and now uh, it has rebloomed to give a little bit of color for the end of the year. Down below it, we have a salvia. Grew that from seed. And some milkweed, which has gone to seed. Back over here. Dahlias. That's the dahlias. And over here, snapdragons. I believe this is a zinnia and it has just gone very, very crooked. I don't know why, top heavy, but uh, still, nice flower. Here we got a white mum. I had that from last year. It survived the year and the winter, so it's back. Salvia and calendula, I believe. A volunteer sunflower, I think that is. That's the, whoops. That's the volunteer sunflower, and then some salvia. Wormwood, looking a tad stretched out. I believe that's a worm, yeah, wormwood, yeah. Uh, looking a tad stretched out and tired with my lamb's ear, which has done quite well. Pollinator still working on the garlic chive. Although many of the flowers are now uh, done and uh, this will have to be cut back soon. And I should be able to still get some more flowers out of this dahlia before the end of the year. This dahlia in a pot, I don't know if I'm gonna get any more flowers out of it, but that's okay. 
another mum and this one should be blooming soon more salvias these really just started taking off in the last month or so still nice echinacea which looked a little worse for wear although this echinacea does have some buds on it so I think we may get some color out of that guy yet the grass looking a little worn but still good and then the Joe pie weed mum in a container I did a video about this last year I'll uh, leave a link above looking very nice survived the summer it was a little brutal on it the uh, plant wanted to flower a lot as mums often like to do but the sun sort of scorching it now with the cooler weather it is definitely shining and looking its best okay real quick before the next wind gust um, and last but not least we have the lavender which has put on some new growth since it's uh, being trimmed oh, smells great oh and uh, has filled out quite nicely that's about it for this video if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up sorry about the wind noise uh, if you have not hit the subscribe button yet please do so hit the subscribe button below this way you're kept up to date as to all the new videos that I've been that I will be doing uh, in the near future and then of course there'll be a little break over the uh, holiday season and I'll pick up again next year but if you hit that subscribe button you'll know when that happens also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, hit that Instagram link. I'll put it somewhere around here. You can keep up to date uh, with me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Little Twitter, I'll put the Twitter link someplace. So, and I think that's about it. So please uh, follow me on, on Instagram. Hit the subscribe button as I already said. Check out the links below for more information. And I will see you on the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.